everyone, I'm Caitlin Farnett, the Gallery Director here at the Love Center for the Arts, and I wanted to introduce you all virtually to Susan Dew Snap's new exhibition, Fantasy and Doubt. I wanted to let everyone know you're welcome to stop by the Lux. Our open hours are Tuesday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. or Saturdays from 10 to 5. Or if you don't feel comfortable stopping in, we do have virtual options. You're welcome to swing by our website at luxcenter.org and check out all the work in the exhibition there. When I'm drawing on the surface of the pieces, I'm starting with a form I've made, and often I'm making these forms to be fairly simple forms. Um, I'm, I am interested in volume, and I'm interested, I, you see that I make a lot of lidded forms, and I, I get interested in how lids alter or change the dynamics in the body of a form. Um, and with all of these forms, I'm trying to react to the three-dimensional form on the surface and kind of re-emphasize uh, an energy or a gesture that I feel is happening in the piece. You know, even just looking at some of the, the cup pieces, you know, I'll react to the shape of a handle. And that handle shape may become a gestural mark on the pot. Um, and so for each of these pieces, I start by looking at the form and drawing a gestural mark on the pot that I think talks about the form as emphasized through the surface. And then from that initial mark, I continue making other marks. So part of that fantasy is fantasy and doubt is each piece um, is kind of a unique, I don't know, painting or drawing of surface. I never uh, do a lot of pre-planning for the surface, though I do look at a lot of things when I'm thinking about surface. I look at historical ceramics, I look at Asian ceramics, I look at Greek ceramics, I look at Mycenaean, um, I look at paintings. Um, I'm an avid gardener. Um, in the summer I had three passion plants growing across my, uh, my kitchen window and you know, just the ideas of overlap and intersection and where things become very faint and you can have a sense of seeing through or where things then overlap and become opaque and obscure what you're seeing. I, I kind of think about all those things as I'm creating a surface that's kind of stretching over and around the form of the pot. So I'm, I'm drawing on the surface to really activate the energy that I feel is in the shape of the pot itself. Um, so sometimes with lidded forms, you know, I, I, I play a lot. I'm very interested in lidded forms. And you'll see from some of the lids, I, I play with ideas of, you know, lid almost sinking into the form of the pot or continuing the form of the pot so you almost don't think that there's a lid there. Um, and then in contrast, sometimes I'll make lids that are really, really flat. Um, which may reference things like Japanese lacquerware. I mean, I do think about that a little bit, but it's also, you know, just kind of compressing the energy of that round swollen form that's beneath it uh, and stopping it uh, in a very abrupt way. And then even sometimes, you know, a lot of, I think surfacing happens intuitively. So it's, you know, every time I'm drawing on these surfaces, kind of like a a narrative of abstract drawing uh, and thinking and uh, things like the shape of the lid or the proportion, all those things sometimes intuitively will even come into the drawn work that ends up on the surface. 